Okay, so let's start off with the definition of critical thinking. Critical thinking is purposeful mental activity. You control it. What does that mean? It means thinking takes place in the brain, our brain. And who controls our brain? It is us. Okay? And then the second one is thinking is a two-sided activity. First, you produce ideas and then you evaluate them. So when you were watching the video clip, you were producing ideas in your brain, in your head. So you were thinking what is going on. And then you also evaluated it at the end because at first you thought there was something that is not good that is happening, especially in the first clip. But then, at the end of the whole clip, you will see that you were also wrong. So when you realize you're wrong, that is evaluation. Okay? And then, the next, the third one is producing ideas widens your focus. Resist the temptation to settle for a few familiar ideas. When you say widens your focus, it means it gives you more ideas. Like for instance, sometimes you think love is like a rosary full of mystery. But once you get into a relationship and you fall in love, you will realize that it's more than that. No, you will realize it is also a sacrifice that love is also sometimes difficult, that it can bring you much love, but it can also bring you much pain. So it gives you wider meaning of love. So you also realize that love is not just about uh, falling in love with the good side of the person, but also falling in love with the bad side of the person. Okay? And then, evaluating narrows your focus. Sort the ideas, identify the most reasonable ones. What do we mean by this? When you are evaluating something, when, you're, when we say evaluating, that means you're looking at the good and the, the part that needs uh, improvement. So therefore, uh, you know what is it that is the strong points and the weak points. And then also, you get to identify the reasonable ones. Like for instance, you have a lot of ideas. You want to do many things. But when you think about what you're all thinking about, you will realize which of these things that you want to do are doable or that can be done. Example, you will say you want to have a very good relationship, you want to buy a car, you also want to pass the let exam, you also want to be a cum laude, you also want to have a house and lot. All of those things are things that comes to your head, but then you will realize that at this point in time, there are only uh, things that you can possibly do, like for instance, maybe you pass the let first before you can do all the other things. So that gives you focus. Okay? Let's go now to the next slide. Next slide, please. Okay, why critical thinking is important? Maybe you will be asking, why do we need to study about critical thinking? Why do we need to have critical thinking? Success in work depends on thinking skills. Imagine, would you want to hire a person who does not know how to think? Would you want to hire a person who does not know how to think? Definitely, no. So, it isn't enough to possess knowledge, but you must be able to apply information to your job. So, for instance, you may know a lot of things about teaching. Maybe you know how to to already the different strategies, you know the different uh, methods of teaching, 
But if you do not know how to apply these new methods and strategies that you have learned properly and correctly to the right uh, subject matter, maybe you may not be able to succeed in teaching. So, it's not just the knowledge that is important, it is how you use your knowledge. And then, finally, critical thinking is a reliable way of searching for the truth. If you want to know the truth, you need to be able to be critical. You must be able to sort which are facts and which are opinions, which are real and which are not real, or which are fiction and which are not non-fiction. Like for instance, no, sometimes you want to think, uh, life is beautiful it is beautiful but not all the time so there are things that happen to us that are not also beautiful but that is reality but it is also a reality that life is beautiful so maybe all you have to do is to be able to sort things out okay next slide please Facts and opinions. I already mentioned to you what facts and opinions are. If you remember, or maybe let's try, no? Uh, if I will say the world is round, is that a fact or an opinion? Okay, it's a fact. If I say God is love, is that a fact or an opinion? Definitely, it's a fact. But if, for instance, you will say, Daniel Padilla is the handsomest teenage boy, teenage actor right now. Is that a fact or an opinion? Okay, it's an opinion. Because for others, it may not be true. Okay, but can we say he's the most popular teenage, male teenage teenager now? Probably, yes. So, that may be considered as fact. Okay, so when saying facts and opinion, facts are based on truth. And opinions are only based from what a person thinks. Okay? So, facts are realities. Opinions are beliefs or judgment. That is why sometimes in the beauty contest, if you will look at it, sometimes we may look at a beauty contestant and say, she's not beautiful. But if the judges, if out of the 10 judges, 8 of them thought or thinks or judges her as beautiful, it may be taken as factual already. So if it's only your opinion, then it's only a judgment of yours. But if it is an opinion of most people, majority of people, sometimes it becomes a fact. Okay? Opinions may fit, may fit the facts or be in error, which means... Sometimes, opinions are based on facts. Sometimes, they are not based on facts. They are based on errors. If you remember the video clip that you watch, if you will look at the father and you are the, the policeman and you saw a, an old man giving money to a young woman, you might think he's trying to get the services of that woman in some other wrong ways. It may be a fact from the way you look at it. But in if you will talk to the guy, you will find out that he is the father of the girl. And he was just giving the money so that she has money to buy something inside the, the store. So that's the fact. But the opinion of the policeman might be wrong. So that's the difference. Okay? And then, even the greatest experts... Even the greatest experts sometimes hold incorrect opinions. Is it possible that even experts can be wrong? Yes, sometimes it happens, no? That even experts make mistakes. Like for instance, no? There are cases wherein a doctor can diagnose a person's sickness wrongly. He might say he has cancer. But that is his diagnosis. That is why sometimes patients are allowed to get a second and a third opinion. Which means they can check through other doctors if the diagnosis of the first doctor was right. So, can is it possible that the second doctor 
will disagree with the diagnosis of the first, it's possible. So if 